It's uh, 514 at the airport. I'm headed to Charlotte to film the premiere pilot of Grandma's Boy. Grandma's Boy is a uh, bit of a culinary competition. Each week we go around the country, state by state, city by city, to find a grandma with her heirloom recipe. She'll show us her recipe. Chef Rocco and I will go back to the kitchen and try to replicate her recipe or try to do our own version. We're headed to Siberia. We're making borscht, which is something out of the uh, realm of everyday culinary. And I'm gonna kick the shit out of you, Dave. It's that easy. We came up with this concept just sitting around one day and thought, Rocco and I both, our grandmas have passed a few years already. We want to be invited to their house, come in and enjoy their recipe. We're here to see Nadia Solo. She's a grandma of 12. She's going to show us her heirloom recipe passed down from generations. Let's go check it out. We're here today, we're gonna have hopefully some fun in the yes. kitchen. I believe we're cooking borscht. Yes. Red beet borscht. Ruski borscht. Ruski borscht. Ruski borscht. Both of us watched our grandmas growing up and that's the reason that we went to culinary school, the reason we love and have such passion for food. So we figured all the grandmas that are around the country, they all have that recipe that their grandchildren and their kids love. We'll see who is going to be grandma's boy tomorrow. <laughs> exactly, uh -huh. I think I'm gonna be grandma's boy. I wanna be grandma's uh -huh. boy. Yes. Well, <laughs> we'll shall see. we get started here? Yes. Let's do it. Welcome. So we're here in Nadia's kitchen. We're at grandma's house, Chef Dave, Chef Rocco, and of course, Grandma Nadia. Let's go to the feedback. We've got six children, 12 grandchildren, party of 40 when it's happening. We're here, we're at the cutting board, special knives, we're making bjors. Let's go, ready? Tell us about Chef Dave and I, the ingredients. We have potatoes, my favorite one, golden potatoes, green cabbage, green onion, bell pepper, mm -hmm. beets, onion, tomato paste. Wonderful. Parsley, dry parsley, olive oil. Yes. Italian. Ha <laughs> ha, my girl. Someone Grandma knows where I'm coming yeah. from. <laughs> Salt. Salt, wonderful. Carrots, that's about it. Wonderful, so let me ask you this, do they have to be golden potatoes for they, the traditional Yor Bjor, Porsche? Uh, they don't have to, but it's the best of the best okay. that I use. Okay, you and how about- You can use any kind of potatoes. Yellow beets, no, no good. No, no, okay. yellow beets, they taste differently and you don't get a color from yellow beets. Green bell peppers, yes? Can we do red and yellow only? No, Okay. you can use green, yellow and red. So specifically, it's a traditional recipe, certain peppers, certain colors. There's a lot yes. going on, but there's not a lot of substitution. Yes. No. Very specific to Wonderful. Grandma's house. Very Wonderful. Specific. It's Grandma's recipe, yes. so it's Grandma's, Grandma's house. Yes. So I think what we'll do now is we'll start cooking. We're going to saute these for eight minutes or so. Uh, Maybe less. Okay, just stirring so, it back and forth. Yeah. Moving it around Together, a little bit. Even, yeah. Chef Dave, how we doing? I'm over here slicing and dicing. Yeah. We bell have some peppers. green onions for finishing. We have our bell peppers okay. done. This onion is from our garden. Very good. It Very tastes good. different. We're crackling now over here. We got a nice, yes. nice roll going. This is gonna get everybody around the house. Grandma, yeah, what's so Grandma good. doing? It smells mm -hmm. so good. Wonderful. And so you're passing this down from generation to generation. Yes. How many years have you been making this? 45 years. 45 years, wow. This is gonna be delicious. Mm -hmm. And who taught you this? Did your grandma? My mom. Your mom? Who cut these scallions, man? They're weak. Just kidding, Dave. Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, hey, don't cut the tip of your finger off. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I'll tell you a story. A couple years ago, Chef Rocco and I were doing an event in California. And uh, I was busy, there's probably 30 people in line. Mm -hmm. And he walked over to me and dropped into my hand the tip of his finger. He had a big Japanese knife like wow. that. And uh, he slipped up and dropped his fingertip in there. And then uh, at the end of the night, we had to go spend, what, a couple hours in the hospital? Yeah. <laughs> you sure did, buddy. Wow. <laughs> I feel like a little kid again. Because grandma is here. Exactly. Yeah. So we've got the peppers, we've got the onions, we've got the uh, tri pepper collar. What's next? We are ready for the carrot. Carrots. Carrots. Uh -huh. Looks good, looks good. Yeah. Well, thank He's a good you. little sous chef, isn't he? Thank you. Just a little, thank finger, you, little fingertip boy. Get the side, chef. Come on, don't. Don't let those onions up top yeah, be lonely. Chef, Come on chef. now, look at the mess yeah. he's making. Ay, ay, ay. Right? Yes. Beets. 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 For, for the right. Spanish watching crowd out there. Beets. Beets. So we're going to take the beets. Shred them. Shredded, hand shredded. Shredded beets. Not cooked at all. Not roasted. Uh -uh. Raw beets. Fresh. Okay. 
I love to keep it clean when I cook. So do I. Mm -hmm. You know, he usually makes a mess on the stove and the burners. There's a guy, four or five guys at the restaurant that usually clean up after him. So when I'm here, I like to clean up after him a little bit too, just because if I'm not doing it, nobody else will. Huh? See? <laughs> you don't like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that. You see that? Whoa, whoa. Oh, Mama, Grandma, yeah. tell me he's doing something wrong. It's supposed to become more and more red. Good job, good job. Thank you, Grandma. Appreciate you. It's my grandma. See that? No, no, she said thank you to me. She said good job. She didn't say anything about good Mr. I, I, I got oh, you for this part. Oh, I got you for this part. Mr. Show. Look at the mess. Yeah, look at the, the mess. And so what's going to be the next step? Just so what we know. What do you think? The cabbage. No. No? Tomato paste. Oh, tomato paste? Take a spoon. OK. Yeah, everything. Everything total? Mm-hmm. Total. Total. Well, so we're going to put it in the bottom down there, so... The color change already. It's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's time to put the potatoes in the pot. Potato is boiling. We put cabbage. Okay. So this is all going to go into in this there. Yeah. kitchen. Now we're going to put some salt. I always try when I salt it. So how do you say grandma in Russian? Babushka. Babushka. So it's not a hat, it's a grandma. Yeah. I always thought babushka meant hat or bonnet. <laughs> Grandma, how are we doing on these veggies? We good? A little lower. Okay, nice yeah. and low. And slow. Nice and low and slow. And slow. Yeah. That looks lovely, Grandma. Yeah. And we've been cooking that for about 15 minutes now. I tell you, you're not going to mistake it for anything else either. It's got beets in it for sure. Yes. yes. Yeah, we're doing there we now. go. And this is really coming together nice. Yes. The colors are so vibrant. The smell permeate in the kitchen. While we're waiting, if you have any other questions. Tell us about your, your youth. Tell us about some of the distinct memories you have. I grew up in Russia, in Siberia. The main food was potatoes. So you could make potatoes 20 different ways. Yes. You can make potato soup. We call it tushonna kartoshka. Tushonna kartoshka. Tushonna kartoshka. Tushonna kartoshka. 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 Super. I was growing up without dad, so it was mom and us, 10 children, five brothers and five sisters. We would usually have borscht on the table, fried potato or mashed potato, meatballs, mm -hmm. because we were growing up our own uh, cattle, beef. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We Very had nice. chickens, yeah. So you, you took everything from a farm. It was literally farm to table. Yeah. Tell us how you got to America. We're Christian people, and because we believe in God, mm -hmm. we were persecuted. Right? In Siberia? In Siberia, okay. yeah. When the first opportunity came to us, we were not thinking for a long time. Why? Because we had six small children. We're so happy we made that decision. It wasn't easy. Sure. Because we came here with small kids, nine years old and one year old. Didn't know language, didn't know people, didn't know the culture, and we only had a hundred dollars in our pocket. Just because of the hardship, I was able to learn English. In six months, I was able to talk to people. When you have a dream, you can achieve it. It doesn't matter. Just don't be lazy. Mm -hmm. and follow your plan and follow your road where you want to go. Very you good. know that, you're very yeah, successful. It's nice to hear from you guys. That's, no, and that's fantastic. That's, uh, you know, you, a lot of people take living in America for granted. And, you know, we're same. not. No. We're not. not at all. Yeah. What are we doing over there? Pretty good. Uh, I think we're ready for the are cabbage. Are we ready? I can't. It's my smell meter's going off. I got to taste this. Enough with later. the politics. Let's start eating. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's very thick. We need to add more water. Okay. Yeah, he's trying stuff. I don't ay, know. Ay, ay. What did I see? We don't want to uh, overcook the cabbage. We're getting there. I think uh, we're about to hit the boil. Maybe uh -huh. we want to turn this on. A watched pot doesn't boil faster, right? Is that how it goes? So we're at a boil. Mm -hmm. We're ready over here. Everything's nice and caramelized. It would be translucent if it wasn't red. The flavors are all incorporated, so I'm going to take this and yes. put this in here. Is that what I'm doing? All of this. All right, so let's all do this. All of it, chef. All of it. Nice and the, the red wave. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Smells good up in here, Carolina. We would love to use everything, not throw away anything. Anything. That's right. Excellent. That's how I do it. I just got scolded. Now, are we gonna blend this in any way? No, we like, will blend with our teeth. Oh, teeth blending. Yeah. Now it's time for the parsley. Parsley, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Can you handle that, Chef? I think I can. All of it. You ready? Yeah. Oh, total. Look at this. Oh, total? total? All of it, total. yeah. Oh, I was trying to get some of this uh, beautiful total. scenery. Ready? And then yeah. Dill. Most of this. Dill. Save some dill for uh, finishing. All. The green onion. Ready? Yes, the scallion. Here we go. See? Beautiful. It wasn't hard, right? Grandma, I may be stealing your recipe. You don't have to steal. I'll share with you. <laughs> <laughs> this smells amazing. Smell alone, I'm giving you a 10. This is Ruska Babushka. I heard it can make you like go blind. <laughs> I'll open it and I'll let you sniff it. Okay. It's really punching, yeah? Deep sniff. <laughs> it's like let wasabi, buddy. Oh, no, no, closer. Uh, it's mustard gas, the similar mustard, right? It's master, but it's different. Oh my God, that's so, <laughs> it's, it's just, it's overwhelmingly gonna make me cry. The only thing left to do is watch him cry and then eat. It's got flavor. <laughs> Hot. Ooh, it's a uh, horseradish. Like Shall this we set the table and get ready to eat here pretty soon? Yeah, let's do what it. What do you guys think? Good? Let's yes. do it. Well, thank you, Grandma. This You're looks, welcome. Look at that. Um, Delicious. So here you can add sour cream, okay. onion, you can put salt, and we have a pepper, black pepper. Okay. She gave me it first because she likes me better. That's good. <laughs> we'll see tomorrow. Yeah, right? He, she knows. <laughs> she already knows who you are. <laughs> Mr. Messy. <laughs> Mr. Messy. I did make a mess in your house, but we cleaned it up. That's okay. I already <laughs> forgave. Oh, here we go. This is uh, no the joke. Mustard, yeah. This is the mustard. No joke. Mm, this is gonna be um, wonderful. Table, yes. Whee! Enjoy. Whee! Look at that. I was so confused before I walked in today about borscht. I'm so glad that we came and actually had just a very traditional Siberian style that I'm gonna hope to recreate. Well, I thought we were walking into kind of a, a beet gazpacho that you would have in the middle of the summer. The cabbage hits too. It's like not too cooked. It's perfect. It offers like a little bit of a different texture to it. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. This is a meal in itself. It's delicious, Grandma. Thank you for your help, for your hard work. Thank you so much. And it's a privilege for me to share my recipe with you guys. Thank you for inviting us into your home and house. This was a wonderful experience and we learned a lot. We've done our at home with Nadia. We're headed to the restaurant. We're gonna make our renditions. I've got one, Chef Dave's got one. She's gonna be the judge. She's bringing her family. Stay tuned, because tomorrow there's more of a story that's gonna unfold. We're happy to be here. We're happy to celebrate Siberia. I'm not sure how it could be much better. Probably gonna take you down in this culinary oh, yeah. competition. You're yes. gonna take me down to Chinatown. Yes. I got a couple things up my sleeve, don't worry. I'm not gonna talk too much smack because I love your son, but I will beat you today. I will beat your ass. Beat your ass. Why do you have to swear? Oh, sorry. I will beat Listen. you. Time out. When you put the thing together with the food, I'm Dr. Dre. I'm serving you the biggest set of beats today. Well, I'm Suge Knight, and I will beat you. Suge Knight's in jail. Traveled to Siberia. It's time to cook a traditional recipe. I'm ready, Chef Dave, to make borscht with you. Are you ready to get beat? Be it as it may, I might get beat. Grandma's boy, next. I really don't want to mess with it too much. I got to do a little sidecar with it. You see Chef Dave over there roasting, toasting Tex-Mex style, which we love, caramelized fennel. So we're definitely both trying to build different flavors up. Burnt flavors, flavors of smoke, flavors of elegance. Ruski borscht. I forgot that I had the onions and the peppers on the back burner and they were almost too burnt. But I turned around, peeled off the burnt layer and then we washed the peppers and they actually turned out perfect. You don't smell Siberia from here. You're not in the right pan. It smells delicious, Chef. But you know what mine smells like? Loser. Success.
I mean, Rocco may look like a grandma's boy, but I'm the real grandma's boy. I felt traditional was the way she would want to taste it, so I didn't steer too far. Kudos to Chef, he's going out on a limb, doing some other things, some fun stuff, cucumber, cucumber water. I think I went a little off track. I did not follow the recipe from yesterday. I did get some great notes from Grandma Nadia. I think I did her well. His flavors are different than mine, and that's why we work well together. We're like oil and water sometimes. We bring it back full circle because there's passion behind it, and we know that we do care about each other, and we care about telling this story properly. So. I'm still in the process of gonna serve it hot or cold. Once the family arrives, I'll know. I'm in the process of cooling it down right now, but I'm pretty sure I beat Rocco. I'm gonna beat the hell out of that joke all show long. Uh, I went the traditional route. I really wanted to focus on the technique that she used. I wanted to really like transfer myself into Siberia for a day. So my philosophy in food is, you know, there's certain foods that you want to elevate and add different things to, but there's also foods that I think you don't need to do anything with. I really wanted to keep it unadulterated. Slight changes in some of the meat. She used ribeye, I used strip, the vegetable cuts, but everything practically uh, verbatim she used yesterday all the way down to the shredded beets I used. So I'm excited about it. So we're here on the 21st floor of Fahrenheit restaurant. Today is a special day, but yesterday was more special day because two American boys, they were learning from me how to cook Russian borscht. And today we are going to try their borscht. We will see. Not only us came, but we brought almost half of our family, our grandkids. They know how it tastes and they will be judges too. So we'll see who will make it. Rock and I have been together for, what, since 96. We work for Wolfgang Puck together. We have love, and hates, and passionate fights, and we scream at each other. As everybody saw probably earlier, we were rolling. It's fast paced, but so is this world, and uh, I'm just excited to uh, see what the results are. I really do think that I may uh, actually win them. At the end of the day, we both look out for each other and want what's best for each other's family. It looks so good. Oh, uh, I can't eat by hand. Mom, how are you gonna oh. make your decision? Man, this is making me hungry. <laughs> it smells good. So far, it's passing the smell taste. This one smells like mom's borscht, but does it taste like mom's borscht? Mm. Man, are you sure they didn't cheat and take this out of what you made? I already know who is the winner. The only time I've had cold borscht is when I was too lazy to microwave it. Mm, 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 mm. A little bit too salty, yeah. but... Too salty. Yeah. If it's too salty, it means you love somebody. Somebody wasn't so in love, this would be great. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And I also like how they prepare the beets. Mm. I want to try one piece. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mom, did you try the cold borscht yet? That's the most delicious cold borscht I've ever tried. <laughs> and the only time I've ever tried cold borscht. <laughs> it also looked like they put this through a blending machine. Both of these are so amazingly delicious. One was whole puree, the other was hot ruski borscht. They were both so, so, so tasty. It was hard to choose one over another one. Okay. Looks like Dad loved the hot borscht. I don't know. I, I will order it. If it's on the menu, I will order this cold one. That's what I said. Yes. It's a good. Ta -da! Wow. Thank you. How was everything? It was See, it's, it's empty. Oh, they're running under the table. Let's check. Make sure you. No, no, make sure no. You didn't. It's here. It's here. Where's his napkin? It's um, here. No, 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 no. It's, All right, it's so inside. Talk about the the smooth, cool one first, because yeah. cold one first. Uh, I know who made it. I'm sure I, I know. know. I don't know how she knows it, but, she but it it uh, it was very delicious, and I tasted uh, cucumbers, tomatoes. 
potatoes, and you can tell how I like it. <laughs> the hot borscht is real Russian borscht, and I know who made this. So it's, it's also tasty, a little bit too salty. Uh, what makes you think you know who made it? And don't uh, say who made it yet, we're gonna get to that, but yeah. what makes you think? Is it something you see, sense, smell? I heard from someone the word puree. Okay. Now, are we gonna blend this in any way? <laughs> I don't know, did you say puree? Because I don't remember if I did. <laughs> are we gonna blend this in any way? Someone did. I say that word all the time. From KGB. Stop. <laughs> yeah. Next time, be careful. From a Russian perspective, mm -hmm. I like borscht. Yes. Because it's a tradition, it's an old tradition. Anywhere where the Russian people live in Soviet, former Soviet Union, mm -hmm. they know borscht. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. It reminds you of home. Yes, exactly, a hundred percent. Only like my wife, Nadia, she said, it's a little bit too salty for me, but it's good. It's, mm -hmm. it's everything perfect. And it's not overcooked. Mm -hmm. It's still uh, hrustit, kak? Al dente, uh, crunchy. Crunchy, crunchy. Yeah, yeah, it's still crunchy. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's just good. Cooked. The things that were in the puree were crunchy until we pureed them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were all crunchy. Uh, al dente. Is there a regional area in Russia that claims to have the best ruski borscht. My grandma, my mom, her grandma, her mom, it doesn't matter where we live, borscht is borscht. Across USSR, it's a borscht. I grew up in Middle East, in Kyrgyzstan, and my mom, she prepared borscht. When I, then I moved to Siberia. Her mom prepared borscht exactly the same. Now, how did you there feel you. about cucumbers in this that weren't there yesterday and chevrolet and roasted beets on the other one that wasn't there, but did you find harmony with yes. both of them? Yes, or? and it's so decorative and it's so tasty. Let's find out. I think uh, we learned uh, the proper Russian. way <laughs> how to make Russian borscht yesterday, and I think uh, we both did our rendition Ruski. today. Ruski, Ruski right, borscht. So, sorry. Well, that's who, who won. Let's give it to us. <laughs> I love both dishes. You're not going to hurt You're not going to hurt feelings. But later. you need to stop no, I know, right out. I know, but, but Ruski Borsh. And I was this. sure who did the Russian Borsh, and I was sure who did the Puree Borsh. Oh, Does that mean you prefer you that one? Oh, do you really know who made it? You gotta give it to him. But guess what? I was wrong. <laughs> No. No. Oh. Oh. You did? Chef Dave, Feemster and I want to bring to you untold stories about grandmas and their past and where they came from and what they use and their flavors. So, with that being said, the only other thing I am is happy because I, I won. Round one is done. Chef Rocco is obviously truly grandma's boy today. It's not as good as yours, I'll tell you that. It is. Only a little more, more salt than usual, but it's so good. Uh, now we know who's in love. Huh? Yeah. Uh, oh, I tell him. We have a saying in Russian that if you're cooking and you oversalt the meal, that means you either love somebody or you're in love. Ah, oh, you're in love. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are good. I love you. I love you both. I did not win. I guess I'm not the grandma's boy this week, but I'm coming for you, Rock. It was fun. Crazy two days. We got to taste borscht in two different types. Our family, our grandkids had fun tasting it, talking to both chefs, and it's a, such a privilege and big thanks go to them. We had fun with you. It's been a great two days. We went to Grandma Nadia's house. I'd like to thank Grandma Nadia for inviting us into your home. Round two is coming at you next. We don't know where, we don't know when, we don't know how but it's gonna be ethnic, pleasing, and wonderful. Thank you, Chef Rocco, and thank you, Chef Dave. Dave. We yeah. love you both. And exactly. Chef Rocco is grandma's boy. <laughs> I love the fact that we were able to put this together. There's recipes from all over the world that bring families together. To sit at a table, eat dinner with your grandma, with your family. Get out those old recipes and get to them because they're truly traditional, valuable, and they cross over generationally. This is where I really perform at a high level. This is... I'm Rocco. I'm Dave. We're here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Go, sorry. <laughs> hey everybody, Chef Rocco Whalen here. 
Oh, Dave Fumes, sir. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one. one. She's going to teach us her heirloom recipe. Right, ah. shut up. It's okay. okay. Go ahead. You go first. Come find out. We're in that. Uh, ugh, see, I ah. up too. Yeah, go ahead. Grandma's house. <laughs> you do it now. Fire away. Hi, I'm. We're here at Nadia Solos. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Chef Rocco Whalen here. Okay. okay. Three, two, one. I'm Grandma's Boys. Yay! Grandma's Boys. Grandma's Boys. She just sold it for us. Thank you.